Welcome. Today I would like to talk about handlebars partial. So let's get started. So uh, where I am right now is uh, where I left off in an earlier video. So if you want, you can catch up on the earlier video by searching for handlebars. So here example handlebars. So this is one of the videos which shows how to pre-compile handlebars on server side. So assuming you can do that, let me just show you how to do the partials. So basically what you want to do is um, take a look at uh, where your handlebars is and uh, make it a partial. So I had the post handlebar and uh, I'm going to just uh, take this out of here and uh, make it its own uh, handlebar file called comments.handlebar. And uh, essentially we want to turn this into a partial. So the syntax for partial is you use the right arrow and then you can put in the name of the uh, partial. So in this case, it would be comments and the name of the file here is comments.handlebar. Of course, to compile it, uh, I've already told you how to pre-compile on the server. So you can just use the command handlebars, give it the name of the handlebar file and put it in some JavaScript file. So I'm going to just run that and see what happens. So if I run that and I look at my template uh, JavaScript file, so you can see we have that uh, new uh, partial in comments. So only other thing you need to do is uh, to make it aware that it's a partial. You have to go into your app file and what you want to do is register the helper. And in this case, the function is register partial. This is the name of the partial called comments and this is the handlebar templates comments. So that's all you have to do. So let me just actually just comment it out for a second so you can see the error that's coming in. So if you run this thing, you can see it's uh, complaining. It could not find the uh, partial comments. So that's the reason uh, what you want to do is register this partial comments. And once you register this partial comments, it should work. And uh, here you can see it's coming up and the comments and it's working. So that's how it easy it is going to be in terms of what how where it is getting the comments and full name and author it is just basically getting it from whatever context was uh, this uh, this thing part about and you can see if I look at my JavaScript uh, comments were here and we had the author first name so it's working the same way it was before but the advantage is you can do some code reuse by creating partials and the syntax for partial is this. So thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.